have to read by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making paper lanterns to learn about Paul Revere's famous midnight ride. Oh, we've got a question. Who was Paul Revere? Did he make lanterns? That's a great question. The answer is no. He did not make lanterns, but lanterns are a big part of why he became famous. You want to hear the story? I'll tell you. But first, here's what you'll need for today. Craft sticks, glue. You can use any kind that dries quickly, craft glue or hot glue. Now, if you use hot glue, make sure a grown-up helps you. Wax paper, crayons, a sharpener, a dry towel, and a hot iron. This part will need a grown-up's help too, okay? Okay. Before we start, who was Paul Revere? Well, Paul Revere was a silversmith, which meant he crafted objects using silver. He also dabbled in dentistry and engraving, but what he became most famous for was his midnight ride. In 1774, Paul Revere wanted to help defend the rights of the colonists from the British laws. So he worked as an express writer who carried news, messages, and important documents from Boston to New York and Philadelphia on horseback. He was part of a group called the Sons of Liberty and a leader in an American Patriot spy network. On the night of April 18, 1775, Paul Revere traveled across the Charles River and rode by horse to Lexington to warn Patriots Samuel Adams and John Hancock that the British were planning to arrest them. Here's where the lanterns come in. Revere had a backup plan if the British arrested him to make sure that the Patriots knew how the British were arriving. So he asked a friend to place one lantern in the tower of Christ Church if the British were marching towards them by land, or two lanterns if they were rowing by sea across the river. Since the British ended up traveling through the river, Revere's friend placed two lanterns in the tower. The poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow wrote an epic poem about this years later called Paul Revere's Ride. Part of it goes like this. Hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light, one if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be ready to ride and spread the alarm through every Middlesex village and farm for the country folk to be up and to arm. Meaning, he was gonna let everyone know it was time to fight the British. Let's start making our lantern and I'll tell you the rest of the story later. We're gonna start by gluing our craft sticks together to make four squares. So you'll need 16 craft sticks, like this. We're gonna make squares and then glue them together. Remember, if you're using the hot glue gun, Ask for help and be careful. See, it's a little square. One, two, three, four. These are the sides of our lanterns. Next, get your wax paper ready. 
It helps if you line up the squares all in a row like this and then roll the wax paper long enough for all four squares. Fold the wax paper in half long ways. Line it all up, then we're going to cut off the extra wax paper. I'll pick that up later. This is what we want to end up with, the wax paper fitting exactly inside of our squares like this. The next part of our craft is the most fun. Oh, but wait! I need to tell you what happened to Paul Revere after he saw the two lanterns placed in the church's tower. He rode on horseback through the towns of Medford and Monotomy in Massachusetts and told people that the British were coming. He soon reached Samuel Adams and John Hancock in Lexington and warned them. After midnight, British soldiers arrested Paul Revere, but he told them that a few thousand patriots were on their way to fight, so the soldiers got scared and let him go. They took Paul's horse, though, so he had to walk back. The first battle of the Revolutionary War at Lexington and Concord began later that day. Let's finish making our lanterns here. Take your towel, spread it out. Then take your wax paper, put it on top of the towel and unfold it. You're gonna take your sharpener and your crayons and let the shavings fall onto one half of the wax paper. I'm using red, white, and blue, but you can use any color you want. I love this part. You wanna make sure that you separate the colors because what we're about to do next might make them blend into each other. So keep the colors separate if you can. Okay. Fold your wax paper over and then ask a grown up for help because this next part uses the iron and it's hot. Ask them to gently slide the iron over the folded wax paper and you can see the crayons melt to make a pretty design. Oh, isn't that pretty? And we're good. Nice, right? So, the wax paper where we folded it is now stuck together and it makes a great lantern paper. Our next step is to glue our craft stick squares on to this decorated wax paper here. You're gonna glue all of these on very carefully to the wax paper that we just made. It's coming together. So, we did it. We glued our squares to our DIY lantern paper, wax paper, and next, I'm thinking that we take this next level. Helping hands! Cute, right? So the last thing is to fold this so that we make a cube. Very gently fold it, fold it so it folds easy to make a little house for our lantern. Glue this part together and you're all done. Is it a cube? Is it a cube? 
Did we do it? We did it! Ta-da! <laughs> Paul Revere was clever to use lanterns as a signal. He never really shouted, the British are coming, that some stories like to say he did, but he completed his top secret mission quietly and intelligently to help America. If it wasn't for Paul Revere, American patriots might not have been prepared that day. Now, when you light up your lanterns, think of Paul Revere's clever bravery and how he helped America before the first battle of the Revolutionary War. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Oh, our light. Battery operated. <gasps> There we go. One if I land, two if I see. Hey, who wants to make another one of these? Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.